good morning. This is a Brady Boy Bill Karras coming at you from Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of the Corvette Museum. And here we have two, four, six, eight brand new 2021 Corvettes awaiting their uh, owners. These cars have been sold and uh, took a couple snaps way down there. That mist red one on the right hand side at the very end, uh, their owners just getting their little owner's tour from, I guess, a, probably a, a dealer representative. And uh, so we're gonna spend some time here today. Probably can't afford to do anything, but maybe buy a t-shirt or a hat and, uh, and have a look. But it's always a fun time to come to the Corvette Museum when uh, I'm, in I'm in Tennessee, actually, but I live, or my daughter lives close to the state line, so I always sneak away one day and come up here for a visit. Well, this is the dome area where in uh, 2014 they had the uh, the floor collapse caved in. Giant hole, I think seven cars, I'm not sure exactly, uh, crashed into a giant hole. I guess there was a, a cavern of some sorts underneath and eventually it just caved in. So. Like I say, the last time I was here, there was just a big gaping hole here with yellow tape put around it. And I see they got her patched up now. It looks like they have some cars on display over here. I think they were able to salvage some of them. I don't know if all of them. There were some pretty, pretty expensive cars in that pit. Well, here is the collection of cars that they fished out of the sinkhole. They've got uh, tape on the floor now outlining where the sinkhole was. So, uh, and they've got a, a monument to the sinkhole. So check it out. Take a look more than 30 foot down into what's left of the sinkhole that rocked the Corvette world. And uh, there's a shaft with a ladder. And like I say, here's what's left of the, of the cars that uh, ended up down in the sinkhole. Looks like they just fished them out, put them on dollies. Just. Uh, Really a sad, sad situation. I think there's a couple over here on the other side that they actually uh, were able to salvage. I don't know about this, uh, this black one down here. I'm guessing that that one was restored. So we have uh, the three cars that were salvaged and restored. Uh, this 1962 Corvette. And I'm gonna walk down here and have a look at this white one. The millionth 
Corvette built. It's 1992. And then that 2009. All the rest of them were pretty much scrap. Pretty sad for the folks that are uh, the real diehard Corvette aficionados. Well, I guess this is a fitting bon voyage to the uh, National Corvette Museum, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Bowling. Somebody's banging something in the back here. Bowling Green, Kentucky. And so we got a 1966 427 turbojet Corvette sitting here on the turnstile, floating around. And uh, anyhow, I'm blasting off. Thanks for watching. Get a chance, get down to Bowling Green. It's worth a couple hours of your, of your visit, even if you're not a, a diehard Corvette fan. Well, I guess we haven't quite finished looking at cars yet. As you can see out the windows there, right next door to the National Corvette Museum is Arts Corvette. And uh, mostly it's cars for sale. I don't know, on consignment or whatever. Uh, the gentleman that took my money, the $10 at the, uh, at the door said there's 100 cars here, over 100 cars here, and he says 90 of them got price tags on them. So if you're looking for a muscle car, this looks to be one of the places to come to. Nice, huh? 
Yeah, these cars uh, all have a price tag on them, and they're pretty steep. That uh, GTO right here, Judge, uh, forty-two grand. Uh, there's a '66 Nova L79, though, 327, 350 horse. Uh, but they're not pristine. A lot of them look like they may be, you know, good starter cars, good project cars. Well, that Olds looks to be in really nice shape. Asking 25 grand for that. That's a 67. Asking uh, 25,000. There's a 1964 Ford Galaxy asking 25,000. It's a Galaxy 500 XL. I had a 62 Galaxy 500 XL, Rangoon Red. Just a little bit of everything in here. And I have no idea what the heck that is. Here's a 63 Galaxy 500. And it's getting a little toasty in here. This section of the building is not air conditioned. 22 grand for a 58 T-Bird. And a 60, 1960 Ford Starliner. So I suppose I ought to answer the phone, the phone call that I just got from my, my honey and see what's going on. So probably be blasting off from Art's Corvettes. So bye again. <laughs>